Alright, now we've reached what I like to call the most annoying part of the whole electroplating process. Polishing. This is where patience really matters. Even though the piece is already copper plated, the surface isn't smooth or shiny yet. You'll see scratches, uneven textures, and that dull matte look. To get that mirror-like finish, we have to polish it step by step. I start off with the white compound, which is a diamond-based paste. This step is all about removing those deep scratches that were left behind during sanding or from the plating buildup. Think of it like leveling out the surface before we even think about adding shine. The diamond compound cuts into the copper just enough to smooth out those imperfections, and you'll notice right away that the surface begins to even out. Now, this part can take a while. It's not something you can rush. You have to keep the motion steady, keep checking your angles, and make sure you're hitting every little detail of the print. Especially with 3D prints, you'll see layer lines or small bumps that got covered in plating, and polishing is what blends them in. I keep going over it until most of those deeper marks are reduced, because if you skip this step, no matter how much you polish later, those scratches will always show. It's a long process, it can be messy, and honestly, it's the most time-consuming part, but it's worth it. This is what transforms the piece from just plated to finished. The Cub 1 pendant will look like it came straight out of a jewelry store once it's done. 